Hello everyone. If you thought I would use my human voice by now, you're wrong, haha. <laughs> Maybe I will do it soon, in celebration of the 200 subscribers that I have gained. I honestly cannot believe that 200 people want to see my videos, thank you so much. In this video I will discuss opinions on a group that was requested quite a couple of times. Who am I kidding? Why am I still trying to keep the suspense? We all saw the thumbnail and read the title. I will be discussing common unpopular K-pop opinions on EXO. To avoid any confusion, I want to point out that this is not your everyday unpopular K-pop opinions video, wrong channel sis. These are not my own opinions on EXO. These are opinions that I have heard in a lot of unpopular K-pop opinion videos. I simply discuss them to see whether they are true or not and give you my personal opinion on them. As with the groups that I have discussed in previous videos. I noticed that a lot of people share similar opinions on EXO, that are not really all that unpopular. How many of these opinions are actually accurate? Let's find out. I have seen some really rude opinions on EXO in some of these videos. One person even took it as far as bashing EXO to then build up BTS in her next opinion, what even is that? I am disgusted. If you have watched my previous videos you know that I am not an ARMY. Maybe you thought I would be an XOL, but no. I am also not an XOL. To be honest, I don't know the first thing about EXO. I know a couple of their names and heard their title tracks, but that is it. Of course I do respect them as a group, because they are very talented, no one can deny that. To judge EXO and these opinions fairly, I listened to their music and did some research on them. And now, your daily disclaimer. It's not because I am not an XOL that I will agree with all of the negative opinions. I do want to give them a fair judgment. It's not that because I am not an XOL that my opinions are any less valid. I think, it can be interesting to hear the take of a non-fan on these common not so unpopular opinions. If you're expecting me to hate on them, this video is not that. Let's get started. Number 1, EXO has a bad rap line. I have heard a lot of people say that EXO's rap line is, for lack of better term, shit. Someone even took it as far as saying that the rap in Monster ruined the song. After hearing this so many times I was expecting for their raps to be bad and cringy, but they are not at all. I personally, like the rap in Monster, as I thought it was very powerful and delivered well and I also enjoyed the rap in Love Me Right. I think people say this because they oftentimes compare EXO's rap line to the rap line of other groups. Which I don't think is all that fair, because you have groups that are more hip-hop oriented. Their members will be trained specifically in rap and their skills will be more advanced. You cannot compare a vocal-oriented group's rap training to that. Same goes for comparing a hip-hop-oriented group's vocal line to a group that is more vocal-oriented. That being said, if you just focus on EXO's rap line without comparing them to anyone else, I think their rap line is talented. Number 2, Coca Bop is a bad song. I have heard this opinion so much that I sing, it goes round now baby, on a daily basis. The main problem that most people have with Coca Bop is the drop. A lot of people would prefer the song without the drop after the chorus. I think I have become desensitized to it at this point, it doesn't really bother me. But I understand when people say that that EDM sound doesn't suit the vibe of the song overall. The only part where I really mind it is at the end when it gets added to their vocals, because it overpowers their voices. Number 3, EXO is becoming less interesting. I have heard many people say that they are losing interest in EXO. Let's take a look at their arguments to defend this opinion. 3.1 Their recent comebacks are a disappointment. An argument is that their recent comebacks, Monster, Coca Bop, Power, 
have been disappointing. I feel that it is safe to say that some XOLS were disappointed by the more recent comebacks of EXO. Mostly by Cocobop and Power, because some people disliked Cocobop and some people disliked Power, because they got tired of the songs fast and found the music video rather cringy. I think a similarity both of these songs share is the beats that are strongly present in the song and that is not everyone's cup of tea. I do like Power, because the style of the song reminds me of Break Free by Ariana Grande, both songs have a positive uplifting vibe to them, which I personally like. But I also think a problem with both Cocobop and Power is, that they don't do EXO justice, because they don't allow them to show their vocals to its full potential. Alongside of the vocals Power and Cocobop also heavily rely on the beat to carry the song. If you look at a songs like Love Me Right and Universe the vocals and the music are well balanced out and go along well. Of course all of these songs are different styles and different styles of music appeal to different types of people. Just because everyone and their mother doesn't like Cocobop or Power doesn't mean that they are bad and that you are not allowed to love those songs. 3.2 XO needs a comeback. It has been about a year since EXO as a full group has gotten a comeback. The fact that it has been a while since they have released new music as a nine-member group, this and the quote-unquote disappointing comebacks play a part in people losing interest in them. It would not be smart on SM's part to shove EXO to the side, like they did to some other groups, considering the success they have. But fear not my dear XOLS because SM Entertainment confirmed that EXO is filming a music video, so we can only assume that they will get their long-awaited and well-deserved comeback, soon. I hope that this comeback will be something that every XOL and fan of EXO will enjoy, because I find it sad when people say that they lost interest in a certain group. But when the music doesn't appeal to you anymore, there is not much you can do about it, unfortunately. Those are all the not-so-unpopular EXO opinions I had for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if not, I am sorry. I can't give you back the time you spent watching this video, so don't leave a rude comment, because you know where they go. Like always, feel free to share your thoughts on these opinions that are actually pretty popular, but that people still like to call unpopular. Suggestions on other groups you would like to see discussed are always welcome, so please let me know.